What's going on guys? All right, so today I'm gonna show you, or talk about a little bit about prep and uh, what can happen if we don't prep thoroughly. So I've gotten dirt underneath the wrap and uh, that's obviously a bad thing. Now, if you like this collar, I'm gonna post it in the description below, uh, a link directly to it. Uh, this is Vivid's Gloss Riviera Blue, Porsche Blue, Smurf Blue, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but yes, it's, uh, it's gorgeous on the car actually, as you can see in the video. Uh, I will take this outside when I'm done, do a full walk around. Anyways, we're going to talk about what happened here and, uh, you know, the mistake that I made along the way. So I prepped the, I prepped the service with isopropyl alcohol. As you can see, I've taken everything off the car, off the front bumper, front lip's gone, all the grills are gone, uh, this piece is gone, that piece, every piece of plastic that goes on the front bumper is gone other than the fog lights that need to take them out. They're not really in my way. But again, everything else is gone. I thought that would be enough. I cleaned everything really thoroughly with a rag and isopropyl alcohol, and I still managed to get dirt underneath the wrap, which was probably drawn in from inside the engine bay area because I didn't use a compressor to blow away the dirt. Now, this is very important to keep the dirt away because as soon as we remove the backing paper, what we do is static, static is caused by removing the backing paper and it starts to draw in particles. Uh, when we draw in particles, or any, there's any loose particles kicking around in the engine bay, it's going to stick to the vinyl. And there's pretty much only one way to deal with it. So I'm gonna show you right now what this looks like and the particles that I have underneath the wrap. So you can see some right there. All right, some more right here. And a whole bunch up here. So terrible, I didn't even bother to uh, lay any more than this once that, once that happens. So like, all right, you know what, forget it. So, some over there as well. One is actual imperfection in the paint. Actually, there's a couple imperfections like stone chips. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to deal with this right now. So when we're, when we're trying to get dirt out from behind the wrap, we do, this is exactly what we do right here. We take the wrap off. That's the only way to deal with it. It's a bummer. I just wasted the uh, whole piece, but again, this is what we have to do. So, trying to, the bumper's just lightly clipped onto the car. It's not on there very good. So I'm just trying not to do any damage here. And again, once I remove this, you're gonna see my inlays. I have inlays. the only way to deal with it guys I can't actually peel this back and try to flick all these little stone sh stones off it's just not gonna happen it's gonna make more of a mess we're gonna ruin our vinyl we're gonna start getting glue lines and all that kind of fun stuff which is not cool either uh, when we play around with it too much so we don't want to do that um, so again this is the only option I can see dirt falling out of places that I didn't even know existed I even got dirt on the top piece, which I'm going to redo too. So I just wanted to show you guys what you're going to need to do to deal with something like that. It's very unfortunate. And that's just the way it is. So again, if you like this color, uh, it's going to be in the description below and along with the tools that I use uh, as always. And yeah, I'm gonna get to wrapping this bumper again. As you can see, we have inlays done already for this section right here. And uh, I did an inlay on the bottom here as well. Vice, exactly the same on the opposite side. Guys, if, you, if this video was helpful in understanding how you deal with uh, dirt underneath the wrap, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see some more videos, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, take care.